If you have a dog, you've probably talked to it before, and you may not have said very nice things, but you said it in a nice way, I'll bet. You're a little fatty, aren't you? You're really stupid, and just thought, oh, he doesn't understand. He's just listening to how I'm speaking. Well, maybe that's not the case, according to, to some new research. We found that dogs show a left hemispheric bias when the salience of meaningful verbal content is increased in the speech signal. In contrast, they show a right hemispheric bias when the verbal content is either meaningless to them or removed altogether from the signal, thus enhancing the salience of the speaker-related information. This is particularly interesting because it demonstrates that dogs separately process different information in the speech signal, and the way they do this is very similar to the way we do it. So on the right sides of our brains, uh, human brains, we evaluate things like tone, uh, inflection, cadence, and that context is sorted. And on the left side, we're listening for uh, words, syntax, actual uh, content. And then that's how humans think. But according to this research, that's how dogs think, too. It's really interesting because lateralization, which is kind of the, the division of both hemispheres and happens all across the animal kingdom, I mean, anywhere upwards of a worm, mm -hmm. um, is something that we understand very well. But how they actually respond to these verbal cues in dogs especially is something we don't really know. And we thought that it would be more of the right hemispheric bias. So the right hemisphere processes, um, like you said, it's super segmental content, which is tone, inflection, mm -hmm. you know, kind of the ring, the melodic things. Oh, yes, exactly. Dog, and know. then the uh, phonemic, which is the segmental content we process with our left hemisphere, is the exact word, the content, the meaning. So dogs are understanding what we say, not just how we say it. So you may want to take back some mean things you may have said to a dog <laughs> or not. Uh, but that, that's very interesting to, to know that they process speech the same way as humans, essentially. We're learning so much about the, the brain. And one of the things that I remember coming across when reading this and is how we uh, slowly learn about where we process what with the brain and some of the mechanisms that we used. And I don't know if you remember the uh, Paul Broca story, who Paul the Broca area, which is significantly responsible for the content part of things, is where um, we discovered through a guy who could only say one word. And if you guys watch Game of Thrones, exactly. <laughs> it's called aphasia. It's a real condition where people can only say one word because they can't process in that area. And this is part of the area that is involved in this research because it's what dogs are processing. Mm -hmm. And the initial victim could only say the word tan. That's all he could say. Anytime he wanted to say something, he just said tan. Mm -hmm. So it was, you know, this is one of those things that the more we learn, whether in dogs or humans, the more we will understand these regions of the brain and what they are responsible for. Yeah. So what else could this imply about dogs and their, their understanding of or ingesting of audio information? Uh, well, I think that the main kind of direction that this research is trying to take mm -hmm. is a little bit understanding how we process verbalization and how they receive it, not so much a talking dog. Like, you'll never have the opposite, what? you know, <laughs> kind of response <laughs> where it's like, oh, the dog can, you know, give you tone and inflection and, you know, that that's kind of a little bit of where this analysis is headed. So that's really interesting to know. And if you have a dog, that's doubly interesting to know. Be nice to your dogs, because they might understand you. Uh, let us know what you think below about the lateralization and the being able to process speech of dogs, maybe your dog, in the comments below. And please be sure to subscribe for more.